WrestleMania is 69 days away. That's right, 69. And yes, that is correct. So with that being said, it's not an innuendo. It's just that's a fact. It's 69 days away. So with what happened to the Royal Rumble, uh, obviously we don't have a number of contender to challenge for the belt as the one who won the Royal Rumble is the champion going into WrestleMania. So going into WrestleMania, this is not really a prediction video, this is just an update of what's going on. It technically is, but it will go on to that a little bit later. Uh, first off, the Royal Rumble itself was an amazing event. Uh, Owens and uh, Owens and uh, Ambrose stole the show, in my opinion. And it, it was great. It was a great match. It was a great last man standing match. Probably one of the best ones I've seen in a long time. Uh, I mean, the whole card was great. Even with Sasha Banks becoming a face, I guess. Uh, what was going on with that was she came in after the match with Becky Lynch. Charlotte, of course, retained. And uh, that was interesting because it was somewhat of a reunion of the BFFs and NXT. Uh, Sasha turned on Charlotte and then had the bank statement. So she wants the belt. And it's about damn time. Uh, but the bigger story... There are major stories coming out of this Royal Rumble. But the biggest one is AJ Styles coming to the WWE after what has seemed like forever. Now, technically, AJ was working for WCW at the time. And during WCW's closure, uh, AJ was technically a WWE employee, as was Sting, as was everyone else on that final show in for Nitro and the, the great simulcast back in the day. But, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know about this. AJ actually made it to debut in, I believe it was either WWE Metal or Jacked. It was one of the international shows, I guess. It was either Metal or Jacked or whatever their one was against the Hurricane. Tryout match, pretty much. But it was on Metal or Jacked or whatever. I think it was Metal. But I want to believe it was Jacked. I'm not sure. It was either one, but... Since then, he's been an NWA World Heavyweight Champion, a TNA Champion, IWGP Heavyweight Champion. And the last time we saw him before this was an amazing Intercontinental Championship match between him and Nakamura, which was amazing. Wrestle Kingdom 10 and New Year's Dash, something happened, and then he got kicked out of the Bullet Club and whatever. But the phenomenal one debuted at number three, the same entry number that Ric Flair won. 1992, the win, the original WWE Championship Rumble. But, the, of course, this one was the first time the title was being defended inside the Rumble. The last time it was on the line, which I said in 92, when it was, of course, vacated due to the whole Hogan-Undertaker controversy at Tuesday in Texas. But uh, a lot of surprises came out of this match. I mean, we saw Sami Zayn return, which was great, eliminated Kevin Owens. Uh... Speaking of Owens, he eliminated AJ Styles in the match. Uh, were there any other surprises? Other than that, I don't remember. Oh, well, of course. The man that won the Rumble. Triple H. The man that eliminated Roman Reigns. Justifiably ending his reign as champion. And Triple H is now a 14-time World Heavyweight Champion. Two away from his best friend, Ric Flair's. 16-time title reign, and one away from John Cena's 15. So hopefully that can happen in the future, but right now he's the champion. But there is a little controversy in this Rumble. A little controversy always happens in the Royal Rumble. As we saw our truth go up on top of a ladder, and I, I believe in his mind it was either money in the bank, or in his mind it would, the title was like above the ring in the Rumble, I guess. And after you're eliminated, you have to go climb it or something. I don't really know what was going on. That was not the big deal. Uh, what happened, though, was Kane, who eliminated our truth grabbed the ladder. And only two of the four feet of the ladder touched the floor. Much like Axel Mania. We have another controversy in the Royal Rumble match. As technically, Roman Reigns should earn a rematch, maybe at Fastlane or Mania or something like that. We do not know what's going to happen with the title. Maybe at, at Raw and I will find out. But here's what I believe is going to happen. And what is going to happen is that very same ladder. The ladder's 
two of the four feet of the ladder. I checked this several times after the rumble happened. The ladder's feet did not touch the ground. In fact, the ladder was tossed on basically its face or on its back. I don't know how a ladder, how this ladder actually worked. I didn't really get to see it. But from what I saw, it was just a flat landing. There was no feet touching the ground. Perhaps maybe the bottom two legs of the ladder and the feet perhaps touched the ground. But the other two were upright for the remainder of the match. Therefore, the ladder is the number one contender. And much like Triple H saying he can wrestle a broomstick and have a five-star match at WrestleMania, we will see the COO, HHH, versus a ladder. And yes, that might sound crazy, but in wrestling, anything can happen. Especially since this ladder, and I have it on good word from sources, that this ladder is the very same ladder that has won the DDT Iron Man Metal Heavyweight Championship three separate times. This ladder, basically for those who don't know, the DDT Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Championship is basically the DDT's version of the Hardcore Championship. Now, the ladder did not get eliminated. The ladder was still in the match. The ladder got screwed. This ladder has been in the ring before, several times, in fact. He has been training for the, his life for this Royal Rumble match as a surprise entrant. This ladder will be your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 32, and that is a guarantee. Now, with that being said... Can Triple H overcome this ladder? I don't know. We'll probably find out on Raw if he can, and we'll find out what happens. But for right now, the ladder is the number one contender, and the ladder deserves a match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship.